desperate kind of sleeping in his base now, probably thinking there are no more creeps. But he did expand north of his base. So what is he up to? I have no idea. About uh, six or seven mi minutes left to the game. And who was was at advantage now? I would say Despiran, uh, not Despiran, but Cadix to craft. Well, okay, he got lower food army, but his his hero just makes up for it very very badly. Level level eight now. Yes, level eight tower and chieftain. He knows he won't get any experience killing that, but. You will certainly get uh, some gold and some good items. Like here he got something that he must be very happy that he got a pendant of mana. So 250 more mana is a blessing for the towering chieftain. Now he got 625. He will never, never ever run out of mana. So it's going to be stomp after stomp after stomp after stomp. And that's going to be it. And he also probably got level 1 uh, shockwave. So now bringing here that um, Taran Chief in, in just in the middle, but he got slept right away and Desperant doing the right thing and attacking the units. He knows that attacking that Chieftain is kind of useless. Pushing um, Kerex to craft a hero last army back into the back over the bridge to his base while his Taran Chieftain is just sleeping there. With Chain Sleeping by Bane Hallow, Yen Despirance, Dreadlord. <coughs> now Fox Attack here on the Great All with the expansion of, Des of uh, well, Kedix 2 Craft. And it's destroyed and finally, finally, uh, uh, well, Headhunter just come in and attack the Darren Chieftain, get him out of, well, sleep. But now the Darren Chieftain is back in got a nice stomp here on the dreadlord and now it's attack here for everybody to abomination attacking kodo beast and a tauren so well abomination here not used their best at all the tauren chieftain is getting focused fire on very stupid if you want my opinion just keep slipping him because now he's level 9 and he got resurrection he just won't die forget about it and the crypt lord has died so Desperon, Desperon definitely, definitively not winning this fight at all. Now it's time for his Dreadlord get attacked, but seems like he's gonna get away. Sleep here on the Tauren Chieftain. Statues just got on it, and the last line is the Fiends, and the Fiends are not going to hold long. And the, the Death Knight down, Death Knight down as well. Now why is Desperon staying there? It's suicide. He lost his Crypt Lord as well, uh, Dread Lord as well. All he's got left is one Abomination that won't hold long. Boom. And what we got here, level 10 Tauren Chieftain. Might as well say, well, an Immortal Beast. So now you see how effective it can be to have Tauren Chieftain first and solo. Because, well, first of all, Tauren Chieftain is at eye level impossible to nuke. You can sleep him, but uh, if you got a micromanagement, you just can um, fix that with a quick berserker or grunt attack. Fen um, is going to gain levels much more quickly, and uh, all of his kills at level 3 are completely uh, not overpowered, but very, very good. Level 3 and Ren's Aura, very solid spell. <coughs> level 3 Stomp is crazy as well. And level 3 shockwave added to that with 655 mana. That that tower and chieftain is just abuse in the box. He also got an of lightning to boot, so... Ian Desperian expansion no got wasted. He has no more ways of getting money. Whilst Kedix 2 Crafts rebuilding his expansion south of his base. So now tower and chieftain... Going in, attacking that Altar of Darkness. Let's see if he brings in his other units. And that Tauren Chieftain is getting hurt pretty bad. My guess is that he is going to die. Well, I don't know. 
I think he knows he's going to die. He just doesn't care because he's gonna resurrect and just come back. So Desperate now with quite a few destroyers. I thought destroyers were a good idea against all those berserkers. They were certainly intelligent against Tauren's but A third in that level 10 Tauren Chieftain breaking a Vok here everywhere in Despiron's base. So we're going to see a fight. Crypt Lord here got stunned. Moved here the Crypt Lord, uh, the Tauren Chieftain behind the Crypt Lord. And Foxfire and the Crypt Lord down. Boom. Desperate trying to save his Goblin Shredder. I don't think that's going to work. You're not going to win with a Shredder with 66 life. How much funny his voice might be. So now Destroyers and Gargoyles attacking um, Cadix 2 Craft's expansion. Cadix 2 Craft will certainly try to insert this. And he is with that attack on Desperate's main base. Attacking the most important buildings, namely now the slaughterhouse. And attacking two acolytes, making Sir Tape pay for the pain he did. Well, they didn't do any pain, but they built the stuff that did the pain, so whatever. And it seems like Shockwave still works on buildings, so well, that's one more thing a Cadix 2 Craft got against Desperin. And Desperin's base is going down. Even though if it destroyed that expansion, I don't think it's gonna help him in any way win that game. Because, well, a lot of Berserkers there. Level 10 Tauren Chieftain. That, just that level 10 Tauren Chieftain, he would be able to kill all that air by alone, by himself. With that Horby got. So. And he is indeed attacking that Gargoyle. That is le losing about 50 HP with every hit and he got upgrade so... And Desperon saying GG, well that's the only thing you could say in that situation and then Ian Desperon has left the game GG! Very good job here by Cadix to craft here with uh, Tauren Chieftain first. That is a very very good strategy against Undead, way better than Farseer first and Harassment. Because Undead, well are hard to harass, you've got um... Well, Spirit Towers, you've got Nerubian Towers, you've got Coil with the Dead Knight. And Harassing just don't work that much. So, well, GG to both players, and third cast is incoming.